We're gonna miss you, Therm. We have just spent three amazing days in Driggs. Thanks to you, Jason. Appreciate it so much, man. Your, your, your land, your tierra is beautiful. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much, Thank my friend. So we'll, much. Be back. we'll be back. We'll be back. You're yep. the best. We are finally heading out of Idaho, but not the way we had intended. Allie, what happened? Well, we uh, went into the bike shop to just get things a little bit tuned up, and yeah, the gentleman there who was working our bikes suggested that we take this other route. Going up some rail trail and then some gravel roads, we'd be able to avoid the traffic on Jackson Pass and see some really beautiful wilderness. Yeah, pretty much everybody was like, oh, you're going over the Jackson Pass, don't do that. <laughs> so, so all the bike people in town said, go this way. It's gonna be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit harder, but totally worth it and beautiful. And that's what we're doing. But we're riding trails that these bikes were made for, some gravel. No crashies, no whammies, no bears, no bears. We're heading into bear country. Our friend Jason um, was very concerned about the fact that we're heading into bear country without bear spray. And so he gave us some bear spray. So we're safe now. Thank you, Jason, for getting our backs. Always, you're the best. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love these rail trails. Riding gravel just makes me happy. A, because it just feels good to be riding gravel and hearing the crunch of your tires. Also, because there's no cars and no traffic. Be the one that shapes you. So Woo! Ooh, that's pretty on that side. Look at that. Fall flat on the ground. Don't let gossip dance on your tongue. She'll always be the saddest song. End of the day, we decided to take this route, go on the back roads, take the gravel, and so far it's been totally worth it. These are just picture perfect farm roads. You have these impossible greens off to either side, and this gray, gray blue road. It's just really quintessential. One of the things that I have found most stressful about bike touring is the traffic, the noise and the smells, and this route has none of that. We have seen so far one car. It's super peaceful, super quiet, and it smells amazing. I'm not chasing you, I promise. We're friends. I'm a vegetarian. We are leaving the farmlands and heading into Targi National Forest. And right away, we see a sign that says, be bear aware, food storage required. Those bears are not gonna steal our Nutella crepes. And if they try, Ryan's gonna spray them in the face with bear spray. <laughs> or Allie's gonna slap them around. We are definitely in the middle of nowhere now, and you can just hear all the birds. Clearly, no traffic noise drowning them out today. Okay, we've definitely hit the uphill part. <laughs> in the easiest gear, slowly grinding up these hills. Yeah, I'll take this any day over a road full of traffic. We are riding our last two miles in Idaho. Want to just give a big shout out to Idaho. Idaho, we love you! We'll miss you, Idaho! <laughs> Thanks for all the fun times. Yeah, seriously, this state has been incredibly good to us. And we're looking forward to Wyoming. I like places that are wild and untamed. I feel more free there, like I can really be myself. And Wyoming's one of the, those places. There's just large stretches of land that are still more or less untouched by man. We have bears, wildflowers, wolves, really cool geology. 
and it's just a really special place because of that. Hey Ollie, guess what? We're in Wyoming! Get out! We are. No, we're, how do you know? I know because this little GPS thing shows our blue dot on the dotted line. We're in the middle of nowhere, so there's no like typical welcome to Wyoming sign. So we're in Wyoming. We're in Wyoming. Alright. been cruising for a while now and according to this map we are at the very very southern tip of Yellowstone National Park. That's pretty cool. Jellystone, this is where Yogi lives. <laughs> yeah, make some motorcycle noises. We have finally found a place to call home for the night. Right here in this field of wildflowers. The sun is coming out. We've had a nice long hard day. We're covered in dust and dirt because we've been on dirt all day. And uh, yeah, we earned it. We earned today. What's for dinner tonight, Allie? Um, bean and cheese burritos with cream cheese, which is Eastern twist on things. We call it a Philly burrito. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Cold camping gourmet. This is the bear spray that Jason gave us all day today. We've been seeing signs for bears. And uh, it's nice to have this. And if we don't see any bears at the end of Wyoming, when we're kind of out of bear country, maybe we'll use it in place of Cholula. Spice our burritos up with this stuff. So one neat thing about this campground is that it comes with boxes, bear safe boxes that you can put your food in. You know what they say is that when you when you put your food in a bear safe container, you're protecting not only yourself, but the bears as well. Because when bears start going after human food, they actually come and they, they kill those bears. Um, so yeah, you can save a bear by just putting your food somewhere safe. So Ali, one of my favorite things at Burning Man is when the sun goes down, everybody starts howling. You ready? I'm ready. Thank you, Earth, for another beautiful day. Thank you, wildflower camp, huh? That was nice. That was beautiful. Mosquitoes were not as nice, but that's okay. Nice views of the stars. Yeah, not everything can be perfect. The wildflowers outweighed the neg negatives of the, the mosquitoes. Anyway, today, what are we doing today? We're gonna head up over Togedy Pass and the Continental Divide. So this is gonna be our last big climb of the trip. It's all downhill from here, all the way to New York. <laughs> really? All right, cool. Today is a day for the rear blinky red light. We're in a national park and I just don't trust a lot of the drivers. They're not paying attention to the road. They're looking at the mountains and the wildflowers and the forest and you know, I don't blame them, but I just wanna have a light to give us a little bit more visibility. We did a lot of climbing yesterday through a lot of pretty challenging gravel terrain and that was rough on my knees. They were mad at me. Um, woke up this morning, they're a little sore and they started flaring up pretty immediately on our first downhill. And today I went double whammy with some Advil. I'm hoping to hold up for the big climb over the Continental Divide. What's going on? Oh my God, 
dude. This is amazing. This is so incredible. Wow. So here we are riding our bikes in Grand Teton National Park and this sports car kind of, you know, takes a right turn into the bike lane really quickly. I'm like, what's this guy doing? Don't get out of our way. Yeah, and I look over, it's Michael Miller! <laughs> oh my God. So good to see you, my it's friend. It's great to see you guys. <laughs> I can't I believe love this. That. I love this. This is road magic right here. This, is, running road magic. Yeah. this yeah. is road magic. Yeah. Michael, you've been married for a long time. Do you have any love advice for us? Um, what you're doing. Yeah, you already know. There's nothing I can give you. you know, uh, this is awesome. Yeah. You guys, you know, wander and move together. Wander and move, I like that. Yeah. Well, Michael's one of our very dear friends. He's part, He's the reason why Ali and I met. He's the one I called the night, and I said, is there room in the car to go to the Copper Canyons? He said, yes, there's one seat. This is that guy. I can't believe it. There's and magic in them canyons. There's magic there. in the canyons. This yeah. is so great. I love it. <laughs> Bye, Michael. What are the chances? That is so cool. We love you! <laughs> How cool is that? That was awesome. That was a little boost of energy. Yeah. Okay, Ali, we are here, Togety Pass. <laughs> yes, yes we are. This is the dreaded Togety. People have been talking about it. We just talked to a guy at the gas station. I said, How long is it? He says, It's long. People have told us that it's the easiest way over the Continental Divide too, so as far as dreaded go, it's maybe not as dreaded as other passes. And I actually have no idea how steep it is, how long it is, nothing. We're, we just know that it's in our path and we have to go that way, so time to pedal, pedal, pedal up a mountain. I just ate a bunch of Advil and I'm hoping my, that my knees stay strong. How you feeling, Allie? You, oh, there's a camera in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel great. My knees hurt, but my spirit's strong. Got Brother Wind pushing me up the hill, so that's real kind of, kind of him. Continental Divide? Supposedly this is the Continental it's just Divide. Seemed, it seemed too easy. Well, let's just, we'll look at the river, and if the river seems to be going towards the Atlantic, that means it's the Continental Divide. All right, fair enough. Woohoo! It's raining! Okay, I think we celebrated a little too early. <laughs> We're going uphill again. This pass is confusing. But now we think this is the final push. Five. Boom! Continental Divide in the house. Okay, Ali, now we've officially made it. This feels more like the top of a mountain. <laughs> we actually have signage. We're at the Continental Divide, which is really exciting because this is where the watershed splits. Yeah, this is like the spine of the United States. Now we're heading east. Yep. All rivers flow to the Atlantic with us. And all bikers head to New York. I always keep these handy in my wallet for occasions like this. Jump! Jump for it! <laughs> Put on this. There we go. People for bikes forever. 96, 58, highest point of the trip. We thought we were on top way back there. Then we got to the Constantinople Divide. We thought we were at the top there. And now I think officially we're at the top. We are really at Jogadi Pass this time. Just kidding the other times. Um, it's, yeah, elevation 9658. Yeah, this is going to be it's our highest. It's a really confusing pass. Yeah, it keeps on you thinking you're at the top, the top, the top, and I guess the gas station guy way back there was right. He's like, it's long. 17 <laughs> so, miles? 17 long? mile uphill. That's pretty long. Yeah. camp here in this beautiful field. It is one of those picture perfect beautiful evenings here in Wyoming. Allie, congratulations. We went up and over the Continental Divide today. Yes, we did. I'm exhausted though, not gonna lie. Two days of a lot of climbing and I'm like super out of it. I accidentally ordered flour tortillas with dinner. You know when a gluten-free person orders flour tortilla tacos that they're not quite all there. Yeah! 
Woohoo! That feels good! Yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, <man>. yeah. <sighs>